volume reduction uh, surgery was actually a concept that was first attempted in the 1950s. Patients with emphysema have resection of the worst parts of the lung, allowing better quality lung to expand into the void. So people breathe better, they have better exercise tolerance, they have better activity and better quality of life. There has been this effort to try and find less invasive approaches to elicit the same effects of the surgical volume reduction surgery. As a result, there's been several technologies developed. We first studied at the University of Pittsburgh the use of endobronchial valves, which are one-way valves that essentially allow collapse of a lobe. Uh, instead of surgical resection, we collapse that lobe, allowing the non-intervened lobe to expand into that space. That worked in some individuals, but it wound up it was only a select few individuals that that was effective in. As a result, there's been a new wave of technologies. The technology that we're uh, now investigating at the University of Pittsburgh involves endobronchial coils. This procedure involves placing uh, metal nitinol wires that go into the lung straight and then roll like a baseball seam. They fold in half and then they fall in half again. The concept is that they fold in the worst quality lung, the emphysema, again allowing expansion of the better quality lung in, into that area. The advantage of this is A, it is not affected by incomplete fissures uh, because e collateral flow into that lobe is not going to re-expand that lung which is compressed by these coils. And B, we're able to do patients with more homogeneous disease. It doesn't require the heterogeneity that the valves or even surgical volume reduction required. So the RENEW trial is an, an FDA registry trial to assess the effectiveness and safety of these valves in a more formal way. It's a randomized trial that will uh, include five European centers and 20 to 25 United States centers. We'll randomize approximately 220 patients to either coil procedure or usual optimal medical care. They've performed the coil procedure on several hundred patients in European studies before we had begun our trial and the results in fact are promising. These patients have improvement in lung function, improvement in walk distance, and improvement in quality of life. Because we have limited options with these patients with advanced disease, we're very hopeful that the RENEW trial will in fact confirm the preliminary results in Europe and prove that we can improve lung function, exercise tolerance, and quality of life in these desperate individuals. Thank you.